Live. You do the intro, Clive. Uh, sure. On the Paul Paluta channel, it's Live with Clivers. The topics are mole removal, vintage watches, and more. Or let, we'll condense this into a single topic, vintage mole removal. Wait, you're back in the studio. Do you finally have the computer fixed? No, 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 no. What's actually happened is I got kicked out of that. So I brought my shitty little laptop in. And uh, it's next to my PC, which is shit itself. By the way there, Clive, did you notice something about my room? Um, it's shittier than usual. You know there's something about my room? It's shittier than usual? It's a fucking pigsty. It's shittier than usual. And you know what? There's no bitch telling me I got to clean my room. You know, that not that a good thing? You know what it I mean? Does that, does that make sense to you, Clivers? Yeah. Oh, Did sorry, you couldn't, they couldn't see that. The audience couldn't see that. Shit. Sorry, here we go. This is the room. Look. Uh, oh, they could see it. Yes. This is between my desk here, right? Because I'm, I'm keeping these bags that have been here for about, oh, about three years in case I might need some plastic bags. Nice. I got CDs. That's where the carpet beat all. I, I, I have bombarded this area with mortine and, and insecticide. I don't think there's any more. However, I've got to tell you the truth there. Since the beetles have stopped, right? Hello? Yes, I'm trying not to vomit looking at your feet. Since since oh, I've God. seemed to have flared up very badly underneath the soles of my feet there from the insecticide. It's poison. You know that insecticide is poison. Did you know this? Yes. Side generally means death. Now I just We're have killed. a look here. Homicide. I just want to show you, just want to show you pesticide. Yes, you see the matricide. Dust? the dust on the floor here yep the dust you know dust yes i i know dust quite well we have dust in america believe it or not okay that's right you do have dust so this is the fridge the famous fridge let's have a look inside okay they had schweppes was on special this week Nice. Have you, have you ever ta tasted Indian tonic water? Indian tonic water, no. I have not. Yeah, I've not awful. tasted... I accidentally not stocked tasted... up on it. I stocked up on it by mistake, okay? Nice. There's a few beers in the fridge there. Excellent. Yeah, there's a few beers. And uh, the, the good thing is, too, Clivers, is that if we go into the refrigerator... Have you ever had a refrigerator where beer, I put beer in there to keep it super cool and it kind of leaked everywhere? That's what that yellow shit in my freezer is. See there? You know, um, you know beer? Well, I don't know. No, vague, vague, here, unidentified substance look, look, in your refrigerator. See that, see that there? See, see that? Stuff? This is in the freezer. It's frozen. In identified in substances so that's where beer was leaking i i put some beer in the freezer i've got a bit of a by the way i think it's a little bit i've got a bit of a defrosting problem <laughs> what do you think oh uh, cardinal ving cardinal ving has joined us how's, how's it going how's it going i, hey, I we just, we're just doing a a tour of my refrigerator this is where I had some beer. I had beer bottles in my refrigerator to keep them super cool. Then I forgot about them. Have you ever done that? <laughs> no, I, I, don't think I, I don't think I've ever forgotten a bottle of beer in my life. And then, and then I've got ice cream here. This is a new flavor for the channel. Harry's, Harry's, Harry's ice cream. I'm keeping that there just so that I, I've eaten it. I've eaten it, of course. It's all gone. Uh, but I'm keeping it here just so I can smell it when I'm starting to diet again. What? Nice. I, I, sorry, I missed it. What happened to the horns? Oh, okay. Sorry. So we haven't discussed that yet. So this is 
I just try to show you, Cardinal. Can you see my room? Anything special about my room today? Uh, no. It's it's a pigsty. <laughs> that's that's not abnormal. That's just business as usual. No, it's like I, it's like okay. everything everything has been moved around. Is what it looks like. And there's vague unidentified. Oh, I've got itchy, itchy feet. Itchy. Somebody's biting me. These fucking bastards are biting me. Ah! I For a second, I, I thought yeah. that that wasn't your feet. And you know <laughs> what? <laughs> that is just real suckful. These fucking oh, bugs no, are back. No. They're back. They're back. <laughs> They're back. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> back. Okay, let's have a talk about. Like, hello. We want to talk about. Okay, well, let's let's Are talk you... about something. Let's hey, talk about something, about okay? The TARDIS in the top corner of the room. You see the TARDIS? Yes, I do. Okay. I went to the doctors this week. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Let's back the truck up. It looks like it looks like everything has been rearranged in the room. And yeah. it looks like there's some sort of strange unidentified substance that leaked all over the inside of your freezer. So <laughs> now that's been there for about six months. Don't worry about that. Uh, well, the thing is, you know, the woman that came in earlier in the week to ask you did the little review on your watches. Yes. Where is yes. she? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> I can tell you, she's not in the no. freezer. Well, okay. I want well, that's you to, what you're okay. insinuating. No, see, I want okay. I'll, S. W. Garcia, super chat. I want you to take the laptop. I want you to walk around the outside of the Fist Studio because I want to see if you've got a new patio all of a sudden. A new patio? What do you mean by a new patio? A new patio, like, like, huh? There's a bunch of concrete laid there that wasn't there last week. Uh, why would I have that? Can I ask you that? I don't. I don't know, Archie. Why would you have that? Doesn't that kind of cost? money it does unless you unless you mix it and do it yourself <laughs> the chances of that happening clive let's be completely truthful there there's um okay but no that's not gonna happen it, clive is, we, is it let's be honest i'll show you the outside patio okay thing look for fresh concrete look for look for oh, substances on the ground Look for a sign of disturbance. <laughs> no, 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 no. That that girl went home. Uh huh. Sure, she did. Now, and the thing is, we don't know when that thing was filmed. What film? We don't know when that, that we don't we don't know when that was filmed. That could have been filmed weeks before. So I'm thinking. Okay, so I'm thinking either a you laid fresh concrete. B. B, you probably took made a surreptitious trip carrying a very large, heavy gunny sack to 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 the middle of the uh, Brisbane River in the middle of the night. We got ten dollars. We got ten dollars. And see, now, see, that's what I'm thinking about. Now, I personally think, see, you you're clever in the way that you did that because you can miss Papa Pluta to change to get a new car because you didn't want his old car in the driveway. I couldn't afford because, his old car in the driveway. Well, no, you see, okay. I, I tried to get finance, but the loan was knocked back. You know that? But you convinced him, you see, I think you borrowed Papa Pluto's car to take the gunny sack down to the Brisbane River. Oh, no, no, he, I haven't even driven his new car. He won't let me drive his car. That's a, that's off. No, 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 no. See, you drove the old car. You took the body down to the Brisbane River in the old car. Then you can ah, get, to get the new car to get rid of the biological evidence. So, you know, Brisbane CSI can't come over and, like, uh, swab out the old car. It's clever. It's really clever. Now, Clive, speaking of gory $10, details. $10 super chat, that's David Garcia. Archie, what, what in the butt by Samwell and dedicate the song to Mark Goldberg. What, what in the butt? What, what? What, what in the butt? What, what in the butt? I think it's a song, what, Archie. What? Uh, I'm trying to do one of these rap songs, Clive. I was just trying to invent it without actually Googling the words so I could try and earn a quick $10 without 
doing anything, but if you're you not going like to You mean like real rap stars? Yeah, exactly. Clive, I got to tell you, yeah, I will do that soon. I'm just gonna, I'm just waking up. I want to talk to you about the medical procedure. Five dollars super this. chat by Senior Bell sixty seven. Yes, resting another fifty year old, Archie. Yes, yes, yes. yes. This is a, this is a horological question. Are you ready? Sure, 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 sure. Okay, yes. fire Archie. away, fire in the hole. Archie, well, yes. that, that's actually a very appropriate response in in advance. Archie, okay. would you like Mark Goldberg fist and bang you for two hours straight for a yellow gold ceramic sub? So, you know, it is kind of about horology. It's about whoring yourself for the uh, gold sub. I've got to be completely honest with you. I would do anything to get a gold sub. At this point in time in my life, nothing else has worked. Yes, I would consider all options. Nothing is off the table, okay? All right. Yes, I would consider that. No problems. I have uh yeah i i would seriously consider that okay um yeah i i would i would i need to do something i've uh i've had a few personal problems of late um let's talk about the surgeries and what's going to happen can we talk about that right okay go ahead okay so i went to the doctor and uh this is the first i mean normally when you go to these doctors i like a good south african they're 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 a very very to the point it's a white south african doctor you bitch about how the country's going to the dogs you, you always say this stuff i mean i don't really care it's not my country but you know you, you try and build a rapport with him because in my country they if you if you build a rapport with him they can bulk bill you meaning you don't have right. to pay for the bill in advance and claim it back they just you don't have to pay anything so i did that what do $5 i know five dollar super chat by dan radke yeah I, I have an eight watch winder but i yes. noticed you have a stationary watch box is yes. it better for the watch to wind down or always remain wound that's actually a good question well it's a question to like is it better to keep the car running taxis do millions of miles look the reality is <clears throat> you keep the watch running it keeps the oil going but it wears the parts out you stop the watch it doesn't have any wear so there is no 100 percent answer hello oh, Mark. Thank How you. Are you? Angry at you. okay i'm Mark? angry at you archie why is that whoa. we we had a super chat involving you you ready to hear it Yes. Sure. <laughs> okay. This is. Uh, oh wait. Okay. Now this is about what what in the butt. That that's not involving you directly. Okay. Now Senior Bell sixty seven wanted to know if Archie would let you bang him, Mark Goldberg, fist and bang him for two hours straight for a yellow gold ceramic sub. Wait, who's getting fisted? This depends. This, de this this depends, and I gotta the grammar and You're syntax. Here. Archie, would you would you let Mark Goldberg fist yeah. and bang you for two hours straight for a yellow gold ceramic sub? Well, what do I, I do get? It. You get to bang the the pontiff. Yeah. <laughs> now think about it. Now think about it. Now if you do it now, you see you could grab him by the horns and pit the head exactly where you want it. You know, it's like this brings, it's like, this brings, it's like handlebars. This brings a whole lot. This think, Art, Paul, think about it. You'd be able to make a whole new Archie Explodes series. Yes, yes. But well, you answer, and then I have comments. I'd do anything for a gold watch. There is no limit to what I would do. This is a large. Is no... I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist. You realize that? Yes. So there we go. There. <laughs> I'd do anything for a gold watch. Well, I, I haven't I haven't had many offers or takers of anything come good my way lately. My whole life is my nine piece combo deal. That is the entire work of my life. Have you been drinking? No, I haven't been drinking anything. I haven't been drinking anything. 
well, you better start. You seem a bit sad. I don't even want to tell you why I'm depressed, but I got to say, I'm not fisting anybody unless there's a gold sub involved for me too. This has got to be a two meal combo deal. Two or meal there's... combo deal. Otherwise it's not on. Are you sad because you've suddenly realized what they sold the Porsche for that you traded no. in? No, I'm angry at you because you are not supportive in my quest to live like an everyman, to live like the, the Vox Populi, to live. Why, why must I be bougie? To satisfy you, I, you know, I'm I'm yes. coming off of like six years of Porsches, and I just yes. wanted to live a little bit like a common man for a couple of years. Yeah, I did the same thing, and I never got out of it again. No look, no look, no Mark. I, I have to take I have to take exception to that. You say that you want to live like a common man, but I see the inside of your I see the inside of your domicile, and I see the inside of Archie's. Who is really living like the common man right now? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, quick wristwatch check. I don't want to answer that question. Quick wristwatch check. Look, I think you'll approve. Yes, the Pepsi, the Today's Batman. Song. This would be the Batman. Yes. Sing the song. Might make you feel happier to sing. Batman, and I'm wearing the IWC. Okay, now there's a there's another. Okay, Omega, Flightmaster. 911 Mark II. Ah, uh, this is Series 1, isn't it? Series 2. Series 2. 910 was the first one, wasn't it? Yes. This is the last iteration of the Mark of the watch. Is that a Lufthansa dial? No. 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 Nope. Origi original dial, but the Mark III. No, but you know, the Lufthansa was a certain color of gray greeny. Well, yeah, but the first generation also had like the. So the the had, Lufthansa was in the second generation. Right. That's right. I, mean. I had one, a Lufthansa. This one, well, actually, I think me and Mark have the same one, don't we, Mark? No, I have, uh, I have a different generation. I think. Likely. Talking. I have second generation, but the hands are all different. But I, no, I, that's that's well, yeah, you've got the same generation as mine. Ah. Well, no, actually, we have the same generation, but this one it has the cadium, yellow cadium hands for uh, for inf yeah. reading under infrared uh, cockpit lights. Uh, hmm. Did you get to that eight watch winder super chat? Did you see that? Uh, one? Yeah, actually, yes, we did. Okay. We did. So, um, yeah, I just uh, it's a no win. Chat. It's a no win situation. You can keep them running all the time, and they have some wear, but the oils stay good. Or you can stop them and the oils gum up and there's no wear. It's up to you, Mark. So you're screwed either well, way. It isn't yeah. right. modern, aren't modern movements made with synthetic oils that don't um, like gunk up when you let them sit? We scent? don't buy new, but we don't buy new. Everything we buy is old and cruddy. If, if, that, like if, if that's true, I'm going to uh, I'm going to resupply all my personal lubricants. That's true. <laughs> I want synthetic everything. I don't want I don't want anybody gummed up in my presence. Well, you see, actually, I've solved this problem because you let the watches sit on the deceased for a certain amount of time, and it soaks in, and that Wait, actually they, looks, are those that watches. Looks, are those watches actually? Do you even let those watches get cold before you pry them off the corpse? Oh well, yeah, obviously, because you know the oils from the, the oils from the corpse have to soak in, and that lubricates the watch. It's yeah, it's oil. actually one of the best. It's Not actually oil. one of the best. It's, it's well, involved. it's something. It's embalming fluid. <laughs> that's why your well, watch is like so long. Well, that's true. But on the other hand, it keeps the watch looking nice and pretty. Mm. Embalming fluid. I really like mine, but uh, I have mine now. We discussed this privately. I have mine on a leather strap because those uh, those fifty year old bracelets are, are are a little delicate, and I lost uh, like the end cap to one of mine. So um, I'm I'm, in, I'm searching for. I didn't lose the link. I just lost the end cap, which has a couple of screws on it. For the link. Mark, was, how did you lose that? How did you lose that? Well, you know, foolishly, I just wore the thing everywhere. I, I didn't put it in water or anything. I was careful in that way, but I really never had the bracelet professionally inspected. It, it just popped open at a restaurant. And then uh, I searched all around the, the carpet and I found the link, but not that, not that end cap. And um, that's like a $50 piece if you can even find it. So it's on leather and I'm searching uh, for that, for that little tiny piece. Oh, uh, okay. You know, let me remind me, and I'll ask my fo my folks down here. They actually have a few Speedmaster parts. 
Oh, that'd be not, that would be lovely. I'll, I'll send you a picture of, of what I need. I've got a super chat. Yes, Archie, sing the song to Mark. Now, the song, which you said you'll come back to, we will discuss the horns. Oh, guys, trust me. We are so going to discuss the horns. Is there news? Uh, oh, yes, wait, yes there is the news. There is, there news. is news. There is news. However, Archie has been super chatted 10 US dollars to sing What What in the Butt by Samuel. S. David Garcia has also paid another $2 for him to go ahead and get off his butt, what, what, and dedicate it to you, Mark. Aww. What's the song? Okay, I'm just trying to find these fucking lyrics. I, you know, I'm not, I don't, these songs, I'm not really that good at, um, what's the name of this fucking song? i got to find it. What, what's the what, name? what, in the butt? In the butt. You know, uh, Clyde, I have a question. I'm seeing different super chats than you. The, one, the last one I'm seeing is Patrick Seuss. Who says ten dollars oh. Australian? You see that one? Oh, I Patrick saw that one. Seuss. Yes, yes Patrick Seuss here, is so big boy. cool. It's nine a.m. And by the way, I know it's I know it's um, I know it's after, almost a little bit after nine nine a.m. in Australia time because my flight master has That's a GMT which is set to Brisbane time. But does it tell you whether it's a.m. or p.m.? No, I use this thing called math. <laughs> I, I don't know the maths. I don't. I. I, I don't know my gazintas very well. Oh, nice, 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 nice old school Beverly Hillbillies reference. Don't think I did. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so pleased that you got that. You know what? Very sadly, do you realize that when we die, you know, really nobody's going to nobody's nobody's going to be able to sing the the song. Okay, here we go, guys. Let me tell you a little story about a man what, named what, in the butt. Near, barely kept his family fed. And one day he was shooting at the food. Up came Alabama by the brew. Oil, that is. Texas tea. Black gold. Black gold. Now, that the first such... thing you know, old Jeff's millionaire. And the folks said, Jeff, yeah, there's a wife over there. They said, California, and she wanted to be. And they loaded up the truck in the group of Beverly Hills, that is. Swimming pools. Movie stars. Movie stars. And then they start getting down with the then they start getting down getting down with the banjos. Right. So yeah, exactly. So yeah, this is this is th these are dying references. I, I am so sorry that our culture will pass with us. Culture. You need to go <laughs> like this when you say culture in this reference, but yes. Well, I, I, I okay. hold out hope for Mark, we just did that for free. <laughs> you know that oh, aren't you? All right. Roger Chavez will. I said, what, what? In the butt. When will Sucker what, Horn what? come on? In the butt. In the butt. I said, what, what? In the butt. What, what? What, what? What, what? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Things these songs. I never heard of this stuff before. You know that? I would like to put in a request. Whoever does the Archie Luxury soundboard, please add what, what in the butt to the, to the soundboard. That needs to be there. I'm still asleep. You know that? I, I, I had to go to the scooter park early for my son. He wants to do his scootering. And um, I had to wake up early. And, um, guys, I've had a hard time. But, sorry, keep going, keep going. You were saying there... I was going to talk to you about the surgeries. Do we talk to you about the surgeries or not? Yeah. Mark, do you want to do Gilligan's Island next? Gilligan's Island. Oh, I love that show. you got to start it, and then I'll be able to finish it. Come listen to Tale Just of Sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this traffic port aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailor man, the super skipper brave and true. Brave and sure. 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 <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Senior moment. A Never mind. Go ahead. Tour. A three hour tour. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. We're doing this. Yeah, we're doing this for free. Sorry. Tiny ship yeah. was tossed. If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. <laughs> There's 140 people watching this bullshit. Can you believe that? Well, all I can say is you are you 140 people. Are now well probably about 130, 120, 110, like, probably going down. But you are hearing my entire childhood flash before your ears right now. I oh did. my God! Okay, do we want to talk? Do we want to talk about bad TV like weekends 
Oh. Oh, we want to talk about the horns. Okay. All right. All right. Horns, horns, horns. All right. So, all right. Let's go back to the subject of hornology. So I went to the South African doctor, right? So I, I thought, hey, that's always the way to get bulk billing. That's where you don't have to pay. The government fit, foots the whole bill. You just talk to him about how South Africa's gone to the dogs. Sure enough, this is the first white South African <laughs> who is who is anti-apartheid. <laughs> He's the first left-wing South African. So I've gone off there like a Klansman. Five super chat, Condor 5x5. Five five. AC3, hmm. thoughts on Rolex Daytona white dial box and papers for 15 and a half thousand. Worth it. At this price point, will it hold its value? Actually, since we have since we have the guest emeritus with his own channel, Mark Vlogs Watches. Uh, Mark, what was your experience? You were at you, unlike Archie, are actually previously a Rolex Daytona owner. Well, I what do want to hear I, I totally want to hear what the pontiff has has to say, but I got questions. First, are we talking about a steel, a steel bezel? <laughs> steel bezel, steel bezel, steel bezel. Yeah, that, that, that's a stupid price for a steel bezel. Uh, the answer is no, it's not worth it. 15.5 for a steel bezel? No. Ceramic, yeah. Ceramic, yes, but steel, no. That's the short, the long and the short of it. But, but the sad thing ever, is it'll probably, it'll probably, I, I can't see it really falling that much, to be honest with you. I, I think, look, look, my oh, advice is, Will it hold its value? If you're worried about holding its value, put your money in, in <laughs> into a, uh, a a fund. Put it into a managed fund, for God's sake. Buy no. break, Breakaway no. Hathaway. What's that? What's that Warren Buffet card? Berkshire Hathaway. Buy that if you want a return on investment. I mean, these things here aren't a stock choice. You buy these because you like them. If you were saying what's going to hold its value and this and that, I got to put, you shouldn't be buying these fucking watches. I mean, do you understand? These are an item that costs Rolex about a thousand bucks to make. You do realize that, don't you? Aren't you the one who always lectures people on resale value and how you don't buy brands that are soft? Well, I, no, no, what I say is you buy things that are, good value. Like, I think now is a great time to jump in and buy IWC, Panerai, JLC. I think it's a good time because <clears throat> they're on the outer. But when people start asking these questions, like, this is my investment choice, they're asking these questions like, I'm putting every dollar into this. If I lose it, I'm gone. Don't fucking buy these watches. That's, that's not kind of healthy. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not kind of healthy to put all your money. If you were so fucking concerned about what's this going to do, there's no fucking certainties in life. There's no fucking certainties. And paying this Ponzi scheme sort of prices. You've reached the $5 mark some time ago. Okay. Now, now if, someone wants a, if someone wants a more detailed, lengthy explanation about what choice of a Rolex they tell them to make, what, what, what alternatives do they have, Archie? What's that? So say that again. If someone wants a more in-depth, thorough analysis. Hey, 50 US dollars, I do a phone call. You can talk to me and we can discuss it. We can discuss it in greater detail. Can I slip in one one greater detail? And that sure. is that Chrono 24 shows the two-tone, which is well, less popular than the steel. Hold on. Two, 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 super, two, two $5 super chats. I'm sorry to interrupt, Marcus, Marcus Maximus. Go for it. All right. Kelsowitz, five dollars. Arch, let us know when the auction begins on the horns. Ooh. Is a GMT Master II for seven thousand a good deal? They are hard to find used. Should I buy new for eight and a half, eight point four thousand? Well, the problem is that he hasn't told us which fucking model he's talking about. Is he talking pre-ceramic, a ceramic? Is he talking Batman? Is he talking black, black, black? Is he talking Pepsi? Is he talking Coke? What the fuck is he talking? We need a bit more detail to make this decision. GMT Master 2 is a ceramic bezel. And at 7000 he's talking about the black. And I got to say, 7 is a decent price. Sadly, 7 is a decent price for that right now. Sadly. You just did a video on you just did a video on the Batman, didn't you?
It's a crazy day, but I'm doing fine. Okay, we have a Daytona question. We're, we'll circle back when, since we're at this other one. Okay, Louis Toledo, $5 Super Chat. Arch, if the fallen chronographs were all worth the same, 3000 how would you rank them from 1 to 4? Omega, Man on the Fucking Moon, Pam 250, Breitling Navitimer, IWC Pilot. So ignoring resell value. So, Archie, so take a second. I know this is going to be tough for you. Where's Don Haynes when you need I, I, I got to tell you, honestly, oh, resale value, resale value is, is, is a, um, it's still an important thing. Look, I tell you, honestly, I tell you, honestly, 3000 bucks. I think you'd have to say out of that combo mix deal, the combo meal deal, I would have to say number one would be the Amiga man on the moon. That's a great watch. It's legendary. I know it's not the original three, two, one. I know, I know, I know, but it's still good buying. The next one I would have to say would be the uh, Breitling Navi timer. It's got a bit of history left in it. For that money there, at the lower end, you're probably going to be looking at a 7750, which is fucking, yeah, okay. The third one I would say would be the uh, IWC Pilot. IWC makes good stuff, but they do use 7750s to death. And finally, the PAM, because PAM should stay away from chronographs. They're a dive watch. PAM, 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 PAM. So, that, yeah, there you go. That's my opinion there, Clive. What do you think, Clive? Mark, let's, let's go with our guest star emeritus. Mark? Well, we can't really call you a colonel. Do we call you a rabbi or... Yeah, yes, I've been I've been known to officiate at uh, circumcisions. Um, uh, you know what? The, the the pay is terrible, but tips are great. Tips are really good. Um, Knew that was coming. Knew that was coming. How would you rank them? Uh, yeah. Well, here's the problem. I, I'm not a movement guy, right? I'm more about like brand prestige guy. So we really need like a Don Haynes to annoy the crap out of us to get a legitimate answer to this question. But I would, bless you, I would probably rank them the Brightling, then the Omega, or the Omega, and then the Brightling. Yeah, you know what? I got to go with, um, I think I'm going to agree with the pot uh, And that would be the Omega, because it went to the moon, and then the Brightling because of the heritage, and then the Pam next, and the IWC last. But I kind of like them all. Okay, Cardinal Ding, what, how would you rank them? Uh, I think it's hard. As far as the aesthetic goes, I think I would go um, Navitimer first. But um, just overall, I, I don't think we can top the Moonwatch. It went to the fucking moon. Um, or, 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 sorry. At least it went into space. It at least went to space. <laughs> we need to clarify this for this channel now. Um, the, the man on the fucking space, and then the Navitimer, then the pilot, and then the, the Panerai. Okay. The now, uh, Doc, how would you classify? I, I think I... I agree with the order uh, the pontiff gave. Um, I, I have a little bit of indecision about where to rank the PAM versus the IWC, but I think I think it's a good point that the pilot, you know, IWC is known a little bit more for its chronographs than the PAM would be, or maybe a lot more than the PAM would be. So, um, so maybe I'd, I'd stick with his ranking, with the pontiff's ranking, and definitely the Omega would go first for me. Okay, ten dollars, Chris in Jersey. Chris, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. 6,300. Well, well, I don't know. They got rid of Chris Christie, but they still have Don Haynes. So it's kind of. <laughs> All right. Now, Chris in Jersey, 6,300 for an unworn white dial Milgos. Very high, guys. Very, very high. 6,000 for a minty used piece on front of 24 bucks. He doesn't say what color dial the 6,000 minty on chrono is, but does he? I presume it's also a white dial mill, guess. I just personally think, get the black, get the black, get the black, get the black, get the black dial, get the black dial. Try and avoid the white, I think. And Clyde would back me up on this, wouldn't you? 
Um. Well, see, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of okay. Uh, I like the white, but I'm saying, as far as a investment decision goes, you got to get the black dial. The white's a dog, Clive. Let's just admit that, can we? Mm, short term, probably yeah. Woof, woof, fuckers, woof woof, fuckers. But uh, yeah. so is the Explorer two forty millimeter, and then uh, all of a sudden it's it's spiking upwards. So doesn't the dog eventually? You know, I really hate that. You know, I try to buy things that no one wants. That's what I like to try and do. I try and buy. That's why I bought the IWC. I bought the Monaco. I bought the all these things. I can't handle cool watches. Well, Archie, don't worry because after you buy them, they will no longer be cool. <laughs> How about? There's, How about tinted crystal? There's a crystal matter. Oh, GV or not GV? I don't, okay. It well, makes a know. huge difference. Huge. I'm like I said. I don't. I'm not a fan. I mean, yeah. It's okay. Here's another five dollar super chat by Mike C. This is for the group or group. What is the best pre-owned luxury watch for under four thousand dollars? Same question for new watch under five thousand dollars. Well, I know what the Paul. Let me let me do this for Paul. It's gotta hurt, yes. fuckers. There is no luxury watch for four thousand dollars. Gotta That's hurt. It. It's gotta yeah, hurt. It's gotta. I mean, look. It's put it this way. Look, when we go to the butcher, when we go to the butcher, do we say to ourselves, "What's the cheapest, nastiest piece of meat we can buy for our guests yeah. at our barbecue?" Do we go we do chuck that. steak? Do we go? Do we go ox tongue or do we go trotters? What is the cheapest, nastiest piece of meat we can possibly pull off at this barbecue? That's what you want to ask yourself. We and only do that uh, that you, America. Paul, we only do that at Nana Plaza. Isn't that correct? Uh, uh, uh. Look, I got to tell you, seriously, the best watch you can get is simple. It's simple. You get for two and a half US, you can get the Tudor Black Bay in house Rolex movement, 70 hour power reserve, faux rivet bracelet. You've had one of these, Mark. You, you backed me up on this. That is a waterproof, automatic, sapphire crystal, made by Rolex watch. Can't go wrong. I would rather, you know what? For I'd rather spend a little bit more and get a uh, a Pelagos. Mind you, it's not for everybody. It's titanium, but um, I think it's a little step over the Black Bay. But I really like the uh, the Black Bay. Also. What's your advice, Clive? Best best four grand under four grand watch. Preon, that'd be tough. Um, gee. That's really tough. I mean, new watch under five thousand. I, 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 yeah, under under five thousand pre-owned. We just say a three, two, one Omega Speedmaster, isn't there? You paid about five for yours, didn't you? Yeah, no, I may, yeah, possibly. I, I think I seem to recall that actually. They're dime a dozen, aren't they? You just pick them up everywhere, don't you? In the flyover states. He couldn't well, get his without a dead yeah. arm associated, though, too. So. Yeah, I mean, you really have to you really have to shop the uh, higher end mortuary centers. <laughs> mm, the men who drove Cadillacs. Yeah. Do you uh, say that when when you go before you go to the morgue, he was driving a caddy, Clive? He's driving a cad. Nineteen thirty three. Nineteen thirty three. Okay. Press free on luxury watch. I mean, new watch under five thousand. Oh God, we are so falling so far behind, guys. Space it out. Um, new, new watch under five thousand. I'd say Omega Speedmaster. I hate to say that, but yeah. Um, yeah, I agree with you, Clivers. I'd have to agree with you there. New watch under five, Omega Speedmaster. Man on the pre fucking moon. Pre it's a homage. Pre Can I take Mr. Greenberg? There's a super chat along the same lines from Mr. Greenberg as well. Okay. Oh God, they are coming hot and heavy. Uh, Jesus. Can I do my All impression right. of Richie? Listen, yes. Snowflake, listen, Snowflake, get yourself a man on the fucking moon, be done with it. How was that? It's great. That was almost, that was almost game. I mean, sorry. Um, now, um, yeah, it wasn't bad, actually. It wasn't bad. Now, who was, who was, never mind. I, I, I'm, it's kind of like Ghostbusters. I'm trying not to cross the streams or like Archie and Nana Plaza. Now, Omega Man on the Moon or Grand Seiko Snowflake? That's that's like literally apples. 
Oh, that's, that's a no-brainer. Really You'd have to go for an Amiga. Well, who, who's going to buy a fucking Seiko? When you don't. All... <laughs> you only buy the Grand Seiko after you've hit those bases first. You don't buy the Grand Seiko when you've got nothing else. Okay. It's like buying a Tesla. You only buy a Tesla when you've got a Mercedes, a BMW, a Jaguar, a Porsche, and a Ferrari in the garage. Then you yeah. add the Tesla. You don't just have a Tesla. I think a Grand Seiko. I think if you if you I think a Grand Seiko would be a valid choice for one and done. Ooh. Oh my! No yeah. no 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 no. I, I mean, agree. You, yeah. <laughs> what? I agree. Why not? Depends on the kind, but if it's it's, if it's one of the nice ones, like a peacock, that'd be a one. Yeah, you can only have one watch. That's only it. One watch, and you're going to go for the yeah. snowflake. Those peacocks are going for crazy money. You know that they're fucking Rolex money. Why would you buy a fucking? It's just crazy. Well, it, well like I said, a snowflake, great dial, great movement, um, solid, dependable. And if, if all you need is a simple three hander, then I think yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. You know what? You know why I wore my IWC today, guys? I was reading in the press. In the general press, they were saying that the watches that are in now is thin watches. So I looked, at, I took one look at my Inji and said, you ain't fucking thin. I'm wearing you. I want to wear what's not in. Do you understand? You, you and that IWC go together. Exactly. We're both exactly. chunky boys. Chunky boys. Chunky, chunky. Okay. Oh, helps if I undo the class first. All right, uh, Richard Greenberg. Now, Kelsowitz, five dollars. Thoughts on the Rolex one one six six five five, the rose gold yacht master with rubber strap. It's very sexy, but costs over twenty thousand. Better to just get a Daytona. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. Absolutely. Say no yeah. more. Say no more. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Not, 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 not. I mean, mind you, it's a, it's, it, it's a gold watch head, but it's a rubber strap. I don't care what kind of crap they stick up the ass of that rubber. It's a rubber strap for 20 grand. No way. Plus, the yeah. Daytona is a true sports watch. And the Daytona, like this. Mm -hmm. Daytona will hold its value. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I agree with you. I think you hit it up right on the head. I think Mark is 100% right here. I mean, fuck me dead. Fuck me dead. Why would you buy? It's, it's a rubber strap is a rubber strap. It's fucking crazy. Um, you'd have to go Daytona. You would have. And I, I would even say, Mark, I would like the guy to have some balls to man up and go for a fucking two-tone Daytona. I bet those are such a good price right now. Well, they're a great watch. They they are a fucking great watch. They're gonna have to go up. You understand? They have to go up. Okay. Well, let's, we can listen. We can. Okay. I'm looking at the panel here, and we can listen to the man who had had a Daytona. We can listen to the men who have never had a Daytona, or we can ask the man who currently owns two Daytonas. Ah, so Doc. Doc. Hey, how are you, Doc? Oh my God, it's a flashback to Tan Zeal. He, <clears throat> he has impression down of you in saying that. But anyway, I'm fine. Um, so that was the question about the Daytona from before that you mentioned? Yeah. No, hey, by the way, Doc, just, by, well, just whilst we're mentioning Daytonas, the guy, oh, on yeah. the, dials, the guy on the dial said to me, hey, we'll wait until the end of May. If he hasn't got it by then, send it back. That's what he said to me. Okay, email me the PayPal to send to. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Look, it, it, it's up to you. I mean, I, I'm not trying to push you into something you don't want to do. No, no, no. And my watchsmith said it was a good idea. Yeah. Well, it, it just goes through my PayPal because I've got the oh, dial. By the way, Archie, so I'm, you owe for it. Archie, we're falling behind. You owe someone a beer, Sorry. so go get. But, but answer this one real quick, and then go get a beer. Archie, okay, okay. best moon phase for under fifteen thousand pre-owned. Best what? Moon phase. Ah, oh, you have to go Jaeger Lacoultre, the new Reverso in rose gold. Man, that is. I don't know if you get it for under fifteen. You get what's it. The, what's what's the round one though? The ah, oh, that is crap. the uh, the master control. The master, master? control. 
Yeah, I reckon yeah. that you'd have to you'd have to go JLC if you want a great kick-ass moon phase. You'd have to go JLC. Have to. Yeah, I'd say find them use. I mean, they had one thirty-nine mil uh, stainless steel moon phase around. You know, I almost traded the Outmaster for it, and kind of, kind of glad I didn't. But still, if okay, and there's Colonel Ving joining us again. So uh, yeah, JLC moon uh, master control moon phase or reverso depending if you want to go round or square. All right, now Archie, go get a beer. I'll get a beer, no worries. By the way, I uh, broke my chair this week. Can I tell you this? I broke my chair, I was leaning over and it cracked. Can I explain that to you? You don't believe me, do you? You, you fuckers don't believe me. When I lean, when I lean backwards, right, it's actually, uh, fuck it, it, it sags right over there. See that, it's busted. Yeah, but chair the is finally busted, okay? Because it's, okay. it's, nice, it's busted. My chair is fucked now. It's there is. I'm gonna have to get a. I'm gonna go do a GoFundMe to get a new green chair. You you need one that's rated up to 350 pounds or less once you get the horns cut off. So you might wait oh. until the. Okay, yeah, now here's Mike C. Here is here is Mike C. Okay, let's let's this. Okay, I'm just gonna come out with it. Two dollar super chat group, pre-owned Dayton Rolex Daytona or Royal Oak. Fuck you, Mike. Fuck you for a dollar ninety. It's not even two dollars. It's a dollar ninety nine super chat asking whether you should buy a fifteen thousand or a twenty thousand dollar watch. Screw you. That's my answer to that one. Go get a Timex. You're you're super chatting Timex money here, buddy. That's right. That's exactly. Look, I, I, just very quickly, you just give an answer. We don't need to explain the reason. I would say for that there, that sort of money, what would I buy? I would say buy the AP. Hopefully the stingy son of a bitch will learn about service costs. That's the different. lesson that he'll get. So I'm saying AP. What do you say? Anyone else wants to chip in there, Clive? Cardinal Ving, how about yourself? Uh, I would agree. Dollar ninety nine. I mean, you okay, can't even get a hamburger for a dollar ninety nine. Yeah. Thank you. Um, they're two different watches. Coffee just I mean, got delivered this morning. Coffee just came in this morning. Looks coffee good. and coffee and beer. Would that be mm. a flat white? I love the Australian flat white. Okay. Now we're so, okay. Ryan Lowe, two pounds. Group. SS Aquanaut or Yellow Goat Daytona on Oyster Flex? Oh, boy. That's, you know, that, that's Long. a real toughie in my opinion. I, I guess uh, an Aquanaut, even though it's the dog of the range, it's still a Patek. So, Aquanaut's not the dog. They're fucking expensive Aquanauts now. You know that? Everything, everything Patek is expensive, but the... No, uh, no, that's not true. That's, there are some Pateks which are absolute dogs. Do a search on I, Patek 3944. But I'm, may I'm I remind the group? The, may I remind the group? May I remind the gentleman in this group that this is a two two pound super chat. The dollar. Archie, the, the, the Archie's gained two pounds just drinking beer. The Nautilus is the one to have, but I, I vote for the Aquanaut in that in that in that lineup grudgingly, but I do. I'd say the Daytona is the better deal. It's the meal deal. Okay, now then. What is the best five dollar super chat? What is the best watch with a chronograph with a dive vessel? Ooh. Well, those are Brigade all Type 20. Brigade Type 20, fuckers. Is that a dive vessel? Is that? I don't think yeah, that. It rotates. The bezel rotates. The bezel fucking rotates. It rotates. But Paul, is it a chronograph or a dive vessel? Paul, what about my uh, Breitling Steel Fish with the Valjoux 7750 and the rotating dive bezel? What about that one? That wins. That, that that can even go in water. You can even take that one in water. It can. Yes, it can. Well, actually, um, I have a, a BWC, lovely vintage piece, Butts Watch Company, uh, that has that's a chronograph with a dive bezel. And your Gloria has a, or my Gloria has a dive bezel as well. Oh my God! The next super chat's a winner. You know what okay. I'm. I'm going to say TLC Master Compressor Chronograph. Amazing bank per buck and the legit dive, dive chronograph. 
That's good. Okay. That's better than five dollars super. How about the Tudor? Tudor Black Bay. Ooh, not yeah, bad. Can't get, well, it has a dive bezel. It has a dive bezel. Yeah, but it, that's yeah. not up there. That's not up there with the JLC though, either, is it, Doc? It's hard to find the dive bezels on, and the JLC is nice. Well, no, there's a lot of diving chronographs. It's just the ones I'm familiar with. I'll have the seventy-seven fifty crappy one. Okay, five dollars super chat group. Would you rather? Would you rather eat Archie's wasp honey off Nana Kim or beef and reef off a lady boy? I do love me some beef and reef. Actually, uh, I've already uh, I've already done that. Can we do? Uh, a, can we go with something new? I've done been there, done that. It, see, beef and reef is better, but the it depends what point of the lady boy. I mean, if it's like an arm or something like that, uh, possibly. And it depends where you'd have to, you know, because you think of the honey could get in some really bad places. Nooks, nooks and crannies? Is that what you're thinking? Nooks and crannies? That's what is exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, Ving, what about you? Uh, I... <laughs> you look disturbed. You look disturbed. I'm so just. I'm, I'm gonna have to go with the beef and reef. With the beef and reef. Okay, three dollars super chat by Matt Church. Stop being arses. It's gonna take a lot more money than that. Oh no no! I was gonna say. Well, thanks for joining us here on Archie Luxury tonight. Yeah. Or I'm sorry, on the pub. <laughs> tonight. It's been a great host. Uh, <laughs> thanks for hosting us. You've been a great panel, and we're gonna stop being arses. So, no, oh, I'm, not gonna answer, I'm not going to answer this question because it wasn't super chat, but somebody asked, would I rather blow Batman or James Cameron? <laughs> and I, uh, I'm thinking about that, and I'm, I'm thinking of an answer in my head, and I've got an answer right now, but it's going to be at least a buck 98 to get that out of me. <laughs> Will you paint me, aren't you, like one of your fancy lady boys? <laughs> I'm thinking you'd go to Batman right away, but it might be a little dangerous. And that we're not discussing this for unless we get at least a buck sixty nine. Yeah. <laughs> by, by the way, guys, I just I don't want to harp on it, but I, I am banned from going to Bangkok. I don't know if you know this. I have been banned officially. By whom? You, by whom? Well, I kind of their national owned airline. Um, I kind of told a few pilots what I thought of their safety procedures. Okay. So if I land in the country, I will be arrested for insulting the national airline. Okay. So okay. So you, you need to take the, you need to take the world time over to the jewelers and he needs to open open the crystal up and cross Bangkok <laughs> off. Just draw a line That's through Bangkok. Correct. Yes, yes. Cannot. Um, so that answers Richard there. Um, yeah, I've been banned from, I'm, I fear being arrested until the democracy returns there. I really wouldn't be stepping foot there. Hence Actually, the reason no, I'm no, going to Hong Kong. It just, means, it just means you can't fly there. You can still go. You just, well, I can sneak well, in, but there's, it's dangerous. It is dangerous because the uh, <clears throat> the airline is represented by the government. The government is represented by the king, and there are severe penalties for in any way insulting the king of Thailand. That is no lie. So th those laws are called the less majest laws. And there yes. are foreigners in jail for, and, and, and Thai people in jail for breaking those laws. So it's so like you molested the king. Well, that. well, we don't want to, we don't want to harp on this, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm going to bang, I'm going to honkers. Okay. We're going to honkers now. And the other reason is too, I've got enough, I got enough, I got enough Bangkok footage to last a lifetime. I can, I can, I can rehash that filler anytime I want. So we're going to Honkers, Honkers. And uh, by the way, guys, if you think Honkers is boring, just check out 141go.com. We'll discuss the whole 141 industry. And Lee Howard, I can't really read it because you didn't super chat. Two hundred for two month old Rolex Explorer One, thirty nine millimeter, new loom dial. Is that a good price, or should I keep shopping? I want the new loom dial. That's pretty close to MSRP, isn't it? Yeah, that's a very bad price. 
Yeah, but I mean, it's hard it, to get any any Rolex steel sports, isn't it? Isn't it hard in America? Yes. If you can even get it without paying a premium, is okay. Well, I thought it was a little easier to get your hands on an Explorer. Yeah. They're slowly coming back, but it's slow. I mean, but it's not oh, the same. Okay. As, it's not the same as a Saab or a GMT. But by the way, guys, you know that Pepsi that I bought, right? You know it wasn't mine. I was just brokering the deal. You know that, don't you? Well, that uh, that belies the next super I, chat. Which is I certainly could not afford to buy a Pepsi at that sort of money, and I don't think I'm, they're good value anyhow. Neil, Neil, if I were you, if you're going to pay that kind of money, just get on the freaking list and get one new. You'll have new loom with mm. a new watch. I agree. And stickers and stickers on it too, Clive. Fuck you. Uh, some of the some of the some of the authorized dealers are peeling the stickers off right in front of your face and will not let you take them home. God damn it! I've got the fucking email from Rolex. Sons of bitches! I will show that to any. Wait. Okay. Fine. You guys, let's 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 do this, shall we? Motherfucker. Sure. 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 Fed called, me a goddamn, Fed, Fed called me a goddamn liar on that. Son of a. Anyway. Okay. Uh, uh, Clive flashback. I think, I think we just set him off with the stickers comment. Uh, yeah. Flagged. It's like waving a red flag in front of a bull. Just say, Here Rolex. Is, you, is, this, is this showing up or not? Yes, we see yeah, it. Yeah, it is showing up. We can see all your personal stuff. <laughs> yeah. Social security <laughs> number, bar exam <laughs> score. Okay. Everything. Watch Lover in Hawaii. Congratulations on the Pepsi, Paul. Little donation for the fake AP I got. I was extremely upset. Okay. Please, good morning. And this is forwarded from, well, actually, well, actually, BC Clark. So from Casey Clark, C. Burke, R -U -S -A, Rolex USA .com. Please see the notes from our commercial director below. There are currently 12 Rolex models selling for over retail on the internet. In addition to phone calls for hard-to-get watches that you regularly receive, there are now people traveling the country and coming to our stores in person. They may ask for multiple watches that the plastic may be removed and or different names be put on the warranty cards, and they will pay retail. I cannot stress enough that our inventory is chronically low, especially professionals. You will want to save these only for your best customers, such as Mark Goldberg. It is always your decision how you display watches, but I would recommend not pinning Green Submariners, Blue Black GMPs, and deep sea watches in the showcase for the remainder of the year in case Mark wants another one. In addition, you might notice the names below. These are confirmed resellers. And keep in mind, I'm just, you know, I'm not, I'm not even going to read this part. Also, this is this asshole's phone number, but so I, I guess I should, I shouldn't really, I should probably scroll slowly up. <laughs> now, so here we go. As you are, dear official Rolex jeweler, as you are aware, our low inventory, yeah. You know, have created an exceptional demand for several models, including our Basel 2017 collection. Just a quick reminder to reinforce to your team. Rolex sales should be over-the-counter sales exclusively to end customers, as per the standard sales agreement. Under no circumstances should a warranty be left blank. All warranties must be completed with the purchaser's name and date of purchase. Please, and all, also this is in bold, please have all tape and protective stickers removed from the watch. If the watch is a gift, then the store should hold on to the warranty. That's crazy. Gray market wet resells websites are one to pay retail for Rolex time paces where they're reselling their sites if they can purchase product with the stickers still intact. With that said, we ask that you make sure that the limited sky dwellers, Basel product, and other high demand professional watches go to your best clients, Gabrielle de Mestrel. I could also, I could also, should we Google that name or not? Anyway, that is from a Rolex AD, and that's forwarded from Rolex Corporate. I want your stickers, don't you, big boy? Glad to be, proud to be an American. At least I know I'm free. Not yeah. in the mood. Not in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the other hand, you have more light rail than we do. I don't know how good it is, though. Got any opinions? <laughs> yeah. Do you have any opinion on QR? Yeah, we, we, at the moment it's still ongoing. Now, guys, I gotta tell you this seriously, oh, right? Okay, uh, watch Lever and White. Let me make sure we didn't miss any super chats. We did. Yes, we did miss one. 
Okay. What watch, Louis Toledo, what watch do you suggest as a next purchase to join an Aquanaut travel time, Royal Oak 15400 Rose on leather strap, ceramic submariner, no date, 10 to 25,000. Ooh, that's juicy. That's a nice, that is a nice. Batman, budget. Batman, Batman. He needs a GMT. He's got the Aquanaut. What's an Aquanaut travel time? What oh, yes, yes, yes. That is, that's your yeah, two time zone. Uh, has he got a chronograph in there? There's no chrono. Yeah, I'd, 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 I'd probably, um, he should add for a, uh, get a Daytona with those sort of connections. He can get a Daytona and just walk in and get a steel one. Panda dial would be preference. But if he's going with one brand per watch, oh, then he might want to go with it. Maybe, maybe go with a JLC. Mm. What if they got a reverso to just stand out from all these others here? Save a little more. Omega. Omega Man on the Moon or what? It, Brege? Or uh, that or a, a secondhand Vacheron um, overseas chronograph. You get it for like 10 grand. Bang per buck. That's a lot of, that's a lot of buck. Bang per buck. Yeah. Right. Zenith. Zenith El Primero Tricolor. Yeah, not for that for that budget. He can go, he can go, he can go bigger and bolder than that, right? Yeah, but that's like going to McDonald's and ordering the two dollar hamburger, two dollar cheeseburger. You got a Big Bar Mac. We want a Big Mac with fries and a Coke. Upscale, upscale. We're not going to get the two dollar, okay. two dollar cheeseburger $5, feed. Five dollar super chat by Gilberto Mondalvo. Clyde. Okay. <laughs> I want to trade a Hulk Batman for a Sea Dweller. Four thousand Rolex Milgauss for a fifty-seven eleven. I think he's trading okay. all those things. Um. Well, okay, Gilberto. I mean, if you if you want to, if you want to, that's fine. But keep in mind, it's it's a bubble. Well, it's a it's bubble. artificial. Everything in the watch community that we want to bubble right now, anyway, except for the bagel sport. Which now, even the bagel sports have gone up twenty bucks. I got mine for 70, now they're selling it for 90. Those crafty Asian sons. Oh, sorry, Ving, I didn't mean to. We're very good at marketing. You know, once you started yeah. promoting on the channel, we uh, decided we got to take advantage of the, the publicity. It's called capitalism. Are you a communist, Clive? Um, No, you realize communism is officially over, right? I, see, I don't know. Trade. Standard of I, watches. I wouldn't be buying a 5711 now or ever. They're a non hacking move, but they're, they're, they're not that great. They're not that great. I and mean, what I. Did you like my paddock review? I did a paddock review yesterday. Do you know the type of people who are buying 5711s? They're not really cool anymore. Right. You did that one after you murdered the woman that, I mean, sorry, after you interviewed the woman that came over to your house, right? Yeah, that's right. Right. May she rest in peace. Remember now, the Jehovah's um, Witness that you uh, that you interviewed uh, Archie, and you chased you chased a Jehovah's Witness out. You actually outlasted a Jehovah's Witness. You yes. videoed. Okay. You now. Now, no, Gilberto. No, I mean don't trade because a tra a, a, a jeweler when you walk in trading, a jeweler is going to see you. Like I see garbage fire because I want yeah you because know, I want to fuck her coming and going and he's going to see you the same way he's going to fuck you he's going to fuck you on your watches on the trading value he's going to fuck you on the sell I mean yeah you might dude no 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 if you're going to do that so I mean sell the watch and, and so he's going to do everything he can to talk you out of that you know those those are three great Rolexes um, and you're going to trade them for one watch that. Yes. Yeah. Delicate, fragile is not hacking. Right. Right. And we've lost. We've lost Ving. Again. <laughs> horn update. We wanted a horn update. We're back. Five dollar okay. super chat. Horn update. Well, okay. We want a horn update. Well, listen. For five dollars, update them only on the left one. Another five bucks will tell you about the right one. Okay, okay, so I went to the South African doctor. I'm trying to get him to bulk bill me. So I just said, hey, the country's gone to shit. I don't give a fuck about South Africa. Those fucking $2 super chat. What a New Yorker. Hello from okay. Rainy Manhattan. Well, Clive's gone okay, too. Where's he gone? He'll be back in a minute. Anyhow, 
just very quickly. So I went to the doctors, and uh, he's, he's, he's he has actually examined the moles themselves there. Oh dear God! Okay, they're shrunk. I think it's and, shrunk. Uh, what he said to me is right. No, 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 no. That's the, 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 these are. Uh, he said to me. He said they are. He said to me they are non-cancerous. They are on a stalk. He said they are on a stalk. He said they are on a stalk. He said they're pubis on a stalk. He's he's used this term. He said they're pubis. I don't know what that means. On a stalk. He said they're, these are horns. He said, the, anyhow, this is what he said. I'm just trying to tell you. I'm trying to do the update, right? I said to him, can we slice those fuckers off now? And he said, do you want to hear my opinion? He said, I'll tell you my opinion. And uh, this was after we finished discussing South Africa. And he, I found out how left-wing and communistic he was and how my small talk meant that I was going, wasn't going to bulk bill me. I had to pay the full fee. So anyhow... He said to me, he said, in my professional opinion, he said, I would not take them off. He said, they're non-cancerous. They're non, they're benign, benign, non-cancerous. He said, they're fine. He said, he said, if you cut those off, they will bleed like a bitch. That's what he said to me. They will bleed like a bitch. Right? Is he a plastic surgeon? He said to me, if you want them removed, he said, I will not do this. He said, they will bleed like a bitch. He said to me, you really need to see a plastic surgeon to have these removed. That's what I told you. I'm trying to do it cheap, Doc. I'm trying to do it cheap. And, and, uh, well, first of all, you, you have the wrong doctor. If he's telling you that, it's a, that, it, that they're pubic on a stock, it's the wrong doctor. Pubis, pubis. I can't. I can't remember what he said. He, I may have mis mistaked him, but he said he said they need to be. He said they will bleed like a bitch. He said they will bleed like a slave, slave running from its master. And um, no, 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 dude, no, 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 no. Okay. You know what's amazing? You know what's amazing? Bad, bad on it. Bad Clyde, sorry, I apologize. I apologize. Anyhow, the boss. Wait a minute. Wait a, wait a minute, Archie. You can save this. Who do you love again? I love black, gay, gay black men. Muhammad you know Ali's mean? my hero. Okay, let's just back the truck up. I, I didn't mean this in a racist way. I'm just, I'm just telling you what happened. Okay. Let me tell you the most amazing thing, and that is, as you were showing the close up of your pubic on a stem. Yeah, uh, Doctor Doctor Bruce, stalk on a stalk. No, Archie, Archie's going to give me getting pubic on a stick when he goes to hungers next time. Doctor Bruce, who mere hours ago was like elbow deep inside someone's spleen, actually threw up a little in his mouth. So I, okay. I thought that was. So I got to I got to see a plastic surgeon about it. He's going to write me a referral. It's going to cost me about three grand to remove. Now, what is the, uh, what is the, for, could you do a small explanation for the Americans, which is a bunch of us, mm -hmm. how medicine works in Australia? Because well, we basically, have... we did go we... to the doctor if he thinks we're poor enough. Oh, wait, and did he, we, you can, have you, you been keeping up the super chats, Mark? No. No. Oh, fuck me. Okay, well, hold no. on, we'll get back to it. We'll get back to this. $5 super chat, Louis Toledo. Daytona, 116, 515, rose gold and leather strap. Yellow gold bracelet. We did that. Okay. Um, Ten dollars, Neo. To never get the horns that close to the camera, Neo. Okay, Neo. That's only a that's only a short term horn request. Okay, so he will not get the he will not get the horns that close to the camera for the rest of the stream. Now, if you want that to continue, the next time we do a live stream, you'll also have to super chat another ten dollars. And now we okay. would like to, uh, Woody, Woody, New Yorker says hello from rainy Manhattan. Shout out Woody. Thanks for the dollar yeah. 99. And, right. uh, it appears that only the pontiff is visible on YouTube now. Yeah. I'm, well, the, the camera tends to that happen. The camera shifts around. It does what the camera does, what the camera will do. Oh, but we, there's no thumbnails. No, I see Steve that. says if it's on a stock, they can freeze it off for the cheap for, for on the cheap. Dr. Bruce can confirm.
Let's just silently sit here and watch him drink a bottle like an infant. I got to apologize to Louis Polito. We did not do his super chat about the Daytona one one six five one five. I thought. Well, okay. No, well, no. You mean the one who you correct? Okay, excellent to me too. But okay, fine. That must have Daytona. been Daytona. One, one, yeah. Daytona one one six five one five rose gold on leather strap, yellow gold bracelet, white dial, or stainless steel ceramic white dial. Ceramic. What's else? What's next? No, he said. The five dollar super chat. Hey guys, please let the pot of answer the Daytona question. So Archie, if you're through suckling, <laughs> yes, suckling. That's that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> you okay, it like it's a nipple. It looks like a rolling rock. It's a Heineken. Yeah, Archie loves to have his mouth on a Heineken. <laughs> well, i got to tell you, best bang per buck day tanner at the moment is a white gold, white gold Zenith. That's what I'd be buying. White gold Zenith on a leather strap with the Rolex buckle. 15 US. All right. All right, so where were we? Best bang per buck day tanner to buy. No, before that. We were cutting the horns off. So anyhow, I need to spend three grand on plastic surgery. I'm getting, getting, I'm going to next week. I'm going to get a blood test. He said, firstly, he said, I don't know if they can operate on you because of your size. He said, let's get a blood test. They're, they're not doing a hip replacement. They're just taking the horns out. He said to me, let's go and get a blood test for you firstly. And he said to me, He's, I got, so I got to fast for eight to twelve hours. Then I do a blood test. He said, then I can give you a referral to a surgeon. And uh, he said, it ain't going to be cheap. It ain't going to be free. He said, what do you? He said, look, the only reason you cut them off is for vanity. And he said, if you let yourself go with your diet, why would you give a fuck about what anyone thinks about you? That's Did what he said that? to me. That's incredible. <laughs> in a nice way. In a nice way, he said, you don't really care about vanity, do you? I can you know see what? how you look after your body that you wouldn't give a fuck whether you, he said to me, he said, you, you, you're not doing this to try and attract girls. This is what he said to me. I'll tell you what the doctor said. He said, uh, he said, uh, Paul, you're, you're not doing this to attract women. Are you? He said, you know, he said, you'd be better off losing 30 pounds if you wanted to have more luck with the ladies. Even the hippopotamus opens its mouth so the birds can pick its teeth clean. Even the hippo does that. Ten dollars super chat. By the way, and, and obviously the doctor said, "Well, obviously you don't care about yourself or your appearance. You have no self worth." I can tell by that tag Hoyer that you're wearing. <laughs> he must be a subscriber. <laughs> nice Salita movement when you talk about my board. <laughs> Salita. It's like I got like the, the crucifix to the vampires. Salita. Archie, Mad Max eight eight eight. Archie, big fan. New York City based. Watch affection auto collector. Would like to provide a gift to you to take the family out to dinner. Can I contribute here in Super Chat instead yes, of PayPal? Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> but, you know, Archie, if you go to Hunter... And I will if you take a video. Not only will I take the family out, we'll make a video dedicating it to your generosity. Now, Archie, I was thinking about that, but if, if you have the surgery done while you're in Hong Kong, yes. wouldn't those seem like a family of three, like an entire week? The other thing he said to me is I said, I want to auction them off. He said, he said, health department's not going to let you take those home. Mm. Oh, Hong Kong. Could you I take said, how about I said, can't you just cut them off? I said, can't you just cut them off? He goes, he goes, I could. But I don't have enough insurance when you bleed like a pig for the next three weeks. That's what he you know, said I to have, me. I have a better idea than since they're not going to let you take them home. Before you have them cut off, and I'm really serious about this, you can do this. Before you have them cut off, have a mold made of each of them. And then you can sell signed and numbered copies of the, of the mold. No, no, no. You've been paid to not do that. Don't oh, do that. Okay. Yeah, all right. Mold, mold? super chat money, but you can. They actually sell molds where you can stick your wiener in there. I know, and, I know. I've seen breast ones. I've seen breast ones. So I'm thinking you could make a mold of the left right. horn and the right horn and sign, sign. You sell signed and numbered collectors' items like a paperweight. Mm. 
Okay. By the way, someone Lee Howard brought up a good point. Did you ever vomit on camera for the fifty bucks? <laughs> uh, we will be doing that very soon. Don't worry. I'm going to speak truthfully, though. Um, a couple things. Sure. Sadly. There are some very good doctors in Thailand. They would do inexpensively, and and there are some of the best plastic surgeons in Thailand. But we won't talk about Thailand because you can't go there. Um, no. But there are ways it, it, to. It, it had something to do with telling the pilot that he was a lousy fucking flyer in front of all the staff. <laughs> Lynn, can you have a word with a couple of people and just kind of pass this over? What do you think? All the Asians are, you know, related. <laughs> that's what he thinks. That's what he thinks. That's exactly what he thinks, Mark. Well, yes, 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 exactly. yes. Just, just let that, let that, let that racist, bigoted man from nope. the self just let him think that's true. Okay. They're no, all related on a first name basis. Because he's a pilot, is what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Because he's a pilot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Pilot to pilot. Yep. Exactly. Listen, there are listen, ways to there are ways to cauterize when you're making an incision. I mean that that shouldn't be the limiting factor here. Okay, there, there, well, Mark, can you say the words to "Welcome back, Cotter"? Uh, if necessary, there are things called sutures. Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. By the way, did you see in my interview? I, I was talking about John Travolta. And I said, you remember him? He was in Welcome Back, Cutter. She didn't okay. know what the okay. let's go, let's Back, go back. was. Let, let's go back to the interview, and may God rest her soul. But, yes. I mean, yes. the thing is, it's like, oh, no, no, it's not cold. It's it's stainless steel, like a knife. I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> like a kitchen knife. Like a kitchen a butcher's knife. knife. Well, I wish is that what you said, a butcher knife? Like a butcher knife, yeah. Like a butcher knife, a sharp butcher knife. Jesus Christ! I mean, I'm, 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 I'm. It's like I was expecting her to see her run screaming from the kind of studio. But all right, five dollars super jet. I like watches. I like watches too. Archie, Red Day Type Twenty, Tritium or Luminova dial. Also, what do you think of the earlier model with the gold caped crown? Cheers. The gold crepe. The gold cape crown was only done for the first year, I believe. Incredibly. The way you can tell them also is on the T. When the Breguet, when they put Breguet on the dial, the T is not crossed. Uh, I fucking lusted after one of those for so long now. I would really want, I really fucking want one so badly. I want one so badly. Um, sadly, they're not so easy to find. So they got a, they got a gold crown, just fucking gorgeous. I would love one. Can you get one? If you can get one, grab the fucking thing. Okay. Now, he also was wanting to know, tritium or luminova dial? I don't think it matters. Okay. Just get and a reggae. Like reggae is so cool. And, our, and I like watches. If you want to follow up with the questions about a man's watch, we'll go ahead and take care of that for free. Oh, by the way, uh, I was talking to Don. Well, I you know, I hate to say it, I hate the reggae on that freaking – I hate the shiny reggae on that shiny bracelet. To me, it looks, like a, it looks like a fucking pimp's watch. You know, I agree with you. But you know what the biggest Mark, market for Breguets is? Mark Goldberg is? wouldn't even wear that motherfucker. Come on. You know what the biggest market for Breguets is, but What's that? Fucking Russians. Nasty fucking communist Soviet Russians. So that's why I got the shiny fucker, because that's the market who buys that sort of fucking bullshit. It's nasty, vicious fucking Russians. I think, Do you understand? Okay. And also, let me let me kind of interject the the, side, the sidebar that Mark and Dr. Bruce are having <laughs> on the live comments. I personally always thought that the moles are, in fact, are the remnants of Archie's brain trying to escape. Well, that's what I have. Ninety-nine dollars! Oh my fucking god! Ethan Reed. I'm gonna take the family out. I'm gonna ask them what they, they want. Indian. My son loves Indian food. Uh, I we might do Japanese. I'll have to check. I'm gonna have to. I'll ask them. Oh, we'll have a oh, family. No, 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 no. Yeah, let, let, let me read the rest of it. Okay. Yeah, Archie, you didn't you see the good part. Oh, this is no. This is this is like this is like duty rock. Well, anyway, this is a big thanks to all you do. Hope you have a great dinner with your family. Look for me in future live chats. Smiley face. Enjoy. 
by the way, don't worry. I'll fly you to Thailand via helicopter. <laughs> Thank you so much. And while you're there, you can do a perfect plastic surgeon. He'll give you a very low price, and you'll get the horns removed. Dr. Bruce, what is Flying via helicopter, though. Has anyone seen the movie Indecent Proposal? Yes, I love that movie. I think you're I would, do, I would sleep. I would sleep for with Robert Redford for fifty bucks, <laughs> and I'm not even gay. <laughs> Did you sleep with Robert Redford? He's fucking cool. That guy is cool, don't you think? He wears a 1680 too. You know that? He's a little long oh. in the tooth these days. Robert Redford. He also wears a Seiko. Yes, we don't Archie, mention that, Doc. Uh, Doc, uh, Doc, uh, Doc, 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 we don't mention that, okay? We don't Doc. mention that, Doc. Oh. Doc. Did, that one, did that one hurt coming okay, out? Archie. Archie, please take your tag lawyer off the screen, all right? Seriously. <laughs> and, and Archie, I, I think um, uh, a couple things. First, I think you should say thank you for the $100 gift. Um, thank you so much, sir. And also, one has to wonder whether this is, um, this might be the Thai police trying to do a sting on you. Yeah. They're <laughs> <laughs> No, well, can you imagine uh, yeah. the Thai police spending? No, it can't be the Thai police because they won't spend a brass razu. Well, Vinny, then why don't you talk to your like you know your Asian contacts to like find out what's 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 in the plan here? Because I, I think you people all talk to one another. You you know you all know each other, right? Yeah, we all know each other and we all speak the same language. It's all just Asian. I went I went to school with Debbie Wong. <laughs> I went to school with Debbie Wong. Do you know her by any chance, Vinny? You know Debbie? <laughs> yeah, of and I've always been wondering, I have a question. Actually, I have a serious question. I That's really would like you to explain to me the crab rangoon. It's not from Rangoon, which is in Burma. And the uh, the Chinese don't really eat a whole lot of dairy, which is filled with cream cheese. So what's with the crab rangoon? It was made by a guy who got crabs in Rangoon. Hmm. Great question. Is, is is Rangoon or am I or am I am I getting confused with Yangon, which is the capital of uh, Myanmar, the old Burma? Where where is Rangoon? It was called Rangoon. Uh, okay. It's still called Rangoon by the U.S. State Department and some other countries. Now, are you sure they're not That's actually right. mocking the Asian inability to say the L? <laughs> you sure about no. that? Jamie Y says we're all related. I don't know what Y stands for. I think I could make a guess, but I'm not going to do it since I'm in the hole deeply enough. I hate to admit this, but, but he by might. the way, by the way, Doc, I just want to show you. This is my script. I got to take to the. Um, I got to take this to the pathology place. It says E slash E F T F B C H D L fasting lipids. Fast overnight, eight to twelve hours. Drink water only. PSA, TSH, TFT, if indicated. What the fuck does that mean, Doc? You're getting some lab tests done, and probably those things are related to high cholesterol level. Ah, uh, bullshit! I don't have high cholesterol. How do you know? I've avoided any testing. <laughs> well, that's that's just that I'm just making that I'm I'm coming to that conclusion based on appearances only. I am not your doctor. Okay. Hey, Vin, you know what my favorite Asian food is? It, What's that? Vin, you know my favorite Asian food? What? I mean, I've traveled all over Asia, Southeast Asia particularly, but also Korea, and um, it's a soup. It's called I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Cream of some young guy. You know it. <laughs> Cream of some young guy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's nasty. That is nasty. Well, now hold it. To be fair, and 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 Paul, I know you'll remember this. Do you remember how you say chicken in Thai, in Thailand? Gao. Guy. Goya. Go, guy, 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 guy. So cream of some young guy in uh, in Thailand would be cream of uh, some young chicken. So. so, guys, by the way, I'm going to Hong Kong in a couple of weeks' time. There's a reason for it, right? Is Should I stay at a backpackers or a Y? What would you stay at? 
I don't have super a lot chat. of money. At... Super chat, super chat. Where would you be staying? I would be staying at the Nico. Or the Sheraton or the Marriott. Probably the Marriott. The Sheraton is really run down in, in Hong Kong. Oh, just be one tick. There he goes. We have a super chat here. I told him that. We lost Clyde. Clyde is gone. So I'll read this super chat. Uh, oh, he's back. Clyde, you're back. Yes. See, this is what happens when you start leaking Rolex confidential stuff. I think you had better pay the Wi-Fi bill. Can you see the super chat from the five dollar super chat from Keslowitz? Can you see that, Clyde? Yes. Go ahead Arch, and read. Are you on track to beat last year's nineteen thousand salary? Why don't you live out your life in bangers? You can still do YouTube and live on the cheap. You're gonna have to read it again. Paul's back. Paul, you missed the super chat. We and it's for sorry. you. Sorry, 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 sorry. Arch, are you, connect? Arch, are you back on track to beat last year's 19000 salary? Why don't you live out your life in bangers? You can still do YouTube and live on the cheap. Well, the problem is I've got something called two kids. Two kids who I, uh, I want to have involvement in their life. And, and you don't, don't worry me. When you earn nineteen thousand US in Australia, the tax isn't very high. Okay, so to be honest with you, I get they get free education, free health care. Uh, it's not a bad deal. It's only when you start to earn more. And I can't go to Thailand because I kind of said a few derogatory things about someone's flying prowess. Okay, because I ranked Thai Airlines up and said, are you fuckers going to give me some credit, give me an upgrade to business class? And they said, I'm sorry, sir, you're actually banned from the airline. Also, if you're in Thailand right now, you should call the king of Thailand, identify yourself as Paul Pluta. No, 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 we don't. We don't want to do that, Clive. I might want to go back. I, the king is the king is actually very cool. The king is very cool. I love him. He's actually a friend of Suckerhorns. I don't know if you know that. Suckerhorn has met him. The new so, king. The new king. The young yes, king. The new wow, king. The young that's, king. That's incredible. They weren't. They weren't super friends, but they they met. Apparently, they. Don, John doesn't talk about it because he doesn't like to big note himself like some other pretenders out there. But no, no, John's pretty cool about everything. And for everybody on the panel, there is not a lot that is off limits, but but this subject is because those of us who go to Thailand uh, love it there and would like to continue to do so, and their laws are nothing to mess with, for real. This is no joke. We're, uh, we're, all, uh, we're all lovers of the culture there. Let's, let's just leave I it actually saw something. I saw something posted on Fist where they were talking about a, a bunch of Australians there. got caught in an, or, uh, like an orgy. Yeah, there is. There was a there was a bus. There's a well. There's a lot of there's a lot of partying and sitting over there. But um, yeah, that one got closed down because they were taking Mad over Man, a, okay. a floor of a hotel. Mad Madman Mad Max eight eighty eight. No Thai police here. Are you sure you're a cop? You're you sure you're not a cop? You have to tell us if you're not a cop, right? <laughs> I used to have two very successful YouTube channels, so I know how much work it is to put out videos. Your vids help inspired me to expand my watch collection. Another ten dollars by Mad Max eight eighty eight. Now yes. Mad Max, now if you want to uh, inspire the product, I think you could super chat more money for alcohol consumption or possibly pizza consumption. Because if you if you super chat for Archie to eat a pizza now, that means the kids will have a chance at the buffet. Right. Yeah, sort of, Clive. I, I, I don't know, Clive. i tell you, be honest with you, Clive. Things have gone a little bit uh, bad in my life. I've had a few. Oh, you tried to ring me four minutes ago, Clive. Is anything wrong? No, my, my, no, my, all of a sudden I'm sitting here and like all you guys were frozen. And I was like moving around like, hello. Then I found out I was the frozen one. Anyway, okay, so I had my phone on silent. 
Okay, Beef and Reef. Archie, help. <laughs> Fluxum. Archie inspired me to expand my pants collection. <laughs> Captain Zed came up with an interesting theory about the horns being uh, enlarged prostate. Normally, I'd say that's not the proper anatomy, but since your doctor has diagnosed you with uh, pubic something there, uh, maybe it works. I don't know. What if the horns are actually the actual demonic entities, and they're the ones who killed the streetwalker he was interviewing about his wife? No, I, I want to know, what if that is an inside-out brain aneurysm? Then it would be hopefully an effective lobotomy. Well, no, then he just needs he needs it clipped because his brains could like literally explode. Like he could he could bleed out like if he got any like it would it would be apoplexy. Anything that pushed his blood pressure button could explode those and he, it would be a brain bleed. We gotta clip those. Just saying. I like the idea of a lobotomy, that'll fix it. What do you like, Doc? Do you like the idea of, of taking a mold of these guys and selling them? I like the breast molds more. Yeah. True. Breast but you can't put <laughs> you But can't the, put the horns are actually head nipples, aren't they? You can't glue those to your own head. Whereas if you buy the pontiff's actual, you know, horns, you you know, they come with suction cups, let's say, and you could like mm -hmm. stick them on your own head and go out of, go out for Halloween as Archie. That would scare everybody. I guess that's the point. Bar C says Archie's head has a chronograph complication. Those are pushers. <laughs> if, Paul painted, if, Paul, if Paul painted his face green, could he go out as Shrek? I need an opinion. Need an opinion, yes. I tell you what, it's been a very... So what do you think I should do, Doc? The doctor said, I can't see why you'd cut him off because you obviously don't care about your appearance. That's what he said to me. That was rude. He didn't quite put it that way, but... Okay, Archie, um, whoa. Quick question. Why the fuck didn't you film that? I would have loved to see. You could have put that. Wait, you film that, right? And you're going to put it on for your Patreon viewers, right? Hidden camera? In Australia, yeah. it's highly illegal to film anything in the doctors there. They, they got, they, the malpractice laws are so vicious that they're very, very careful. Phones off okay. before you go into the doctor's Kelsey, surgery. Kelsey, what's $5? Yeah. All right, ah. serious. How much <laughs> right now on camera? I tell you what, you give me, you give me a couple good whiskeys, couple good whiskeys, a bottle of tequila, and uh, oh god, ah, ah, <laughs> oh, we're gonna, we're gonna get it underneath, underneath the no! stalk. We're gonna get, it, we're gonna get it underneath the stalk. You're gonna bleed. You know something, dark? Yeah. Doc, it's stuck. It's stuck, Doc. What do I do? It's stuck now. It's Pull stuck. Pull God, hard. It's stuck. Pull it's hard. stuck. Guys, this was a prank. It's stuck now. Get the kids. Call the kids. Okay. Just one minute. Pull hard. <laughs> it's stuck, Doc. Doc, it's stuck. What do I do, Doc? Doc? Ice. You got to ice it. Shrink it. Doc! Are you stuck? You're it's stuck. You're kidding. you're kidding. Of course. Just pull let it go. Oh, 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 oh! It was stuck, Doc. It so stuck. there are nerve endings in there too. Hmm. <laughs> you mean there is no nerve endings there? You mean it sometimes, won't hurt? Sometimes there's significant nerve nerve there and sometimes not so. well it's easy to but find out i got a blunt really knife fun. i can use i got a blunt knife can i use that doc no, a it's blunt very, knife. Listen, whoa, it's very whoa, whoa. Easy to find you, out. Had, you had your chance but she's gone now <laughs> yeah it's very it's very easy for you to find out if there's nerve endings in there do you have a thumbtack handy like a <laughs> oh, but wait, 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 think about it. But he, he's going to bleed like a stuck pig if they slice him off, right? Yes. That might be the only brain blood supply to his head. And the doctor did say to me, he said to me, with your weight, he said, your blood's probably not clotting properly either. 
That's ridiculous. Said, what, 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 is, what is this? Is this a legitimate doctor? He went to a chiropractor. <laughs> he was a chiropractor. Listen, I, what if those <laughs> what if those horns are the reserve tanks for your IQ? Oh, they're empty. He just he just they're said empty. to me. He said, you know, if you take them off, he said you're going to have to spend a lot. He said, you know, if you really want to have fun with the girls, why don't you lose twenty pounds? That's what he said to me. They would just look bigger if you lost twenty pounds. That's what he said to me. <laughs> if those are the reserve tanks for your IQ points, you're going to get significantly dumber soon. That would be bad. What if each of them has like seven points in it? Mm. You'll be buying Fords before you know it. I'm, may, I'm gonna have be you, honest. Have you regretted that yet? Have you regretted that yet? Tell me you regretted it. Tell me you're looking up. I had like six or seven years. Oh. Six or seven years of Porsches, and I, I am loving this Ford. I, I really am enjoying it a lot. It's not a performance car, but it has more tech, and, and it's a great big 4x4. Four four. It's a big, chunky man truck, and that's what I want. One day I will have a performance car again, but I am really enjoying this, my Ford Explorer. It's my, Ford, my Ford Explorer. Archie, so how much – you never did answer the question – um, okay, Mad Max 80, 880. I would die. I would die, okay? The, the doctor said to me he wouldn't even do it. I would die on the floor. But this okay, doctor, so 100 bucks. This doctor's not even a surgeon. He doesn't know what he's talking about surgically. When we talk about the tag, I'm now very confused whether we're talking about the Monaco or skin tags. This is very, very hard to sort out. No, you're talking about Avon Rubin. Yeah, I'm thinking no. it's a cholesterol Mad Max. skin tag. Mad Max eight eighty eight dollar ninety nine. Can you turn the horns into solid end links? They're the wrong shape. What the heck stimulation? Did I okay. say the wrong thing? No, I guess not. Oh, it's all pear shaped and black. Well, yeah, that that was that was that little bit over the line. Pear shaped, a little bit over the line. Ah, doesn't matter. No one's watching oh. anyhow. You're not watching? No Who's one's watching. Me? Watching. Who's watching today? Not many people. Well, it's 154, but keep in mind it's Friday night. Uh, one of the days of saying skin tag Hoyer. I don't know if that's been Listen, said before. Paul, Paul, you know, I'm sure in Thailand you've been to a bunch of Buddhist temples. And you know how you can buy the, the little tiny squares of gold foil and rub them onto the Buddha? Hey, did you know why they burn incense at those Buddhist temples? To cover the smell of the what? When you're cover rubbing your Buddha. the smell of the morgue below. You know that, don't you? I didn't know that, but there you go. Hey, um, anyway, I'm wondering if we could gild. Wait, we could wait gild. whoa, 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 whoa. Out. What kind of watches they wear down over there? I knew he was thinking about the watches in the morgue. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Sundials. They use like, there's a lot of sundials in uh, in Thailand. I'm just wondering if we could get those little squares of gold foil and decorate them. Yes, very very cool idea indeed. I love a bit of gold. Mm -hmm. It'd be better than a gold tooth even. I had a yeah. girlfriend who had a diamond in a tooth. I have a I had a, a client, a dog training client who was a beautiful. A female dentist, and she had a diamond implanted right in the middle of her, right in the middle of her bicuspid or whatever. What, what's your front tooth? Right in, right in her front tooth. Oh shit! Why did she do that? She, was, she did it. Herself. Beautiful, beautiful woman, and uh, she put a diamond right there. She just uh, she did a lot of cosmetic dentistry, and she was, I guess, it was advertising. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't no, want to no, be nasty. No. She wanted you, Mark. She wanted to put her I money where her exactly. mouth was. No, she we wanted to put her money where, where her mouth was. <laughs> yeah. It's like a tattoo on your face, though, kind of. I'll tell you what, it was pretty noticeable. There was like a little tiny sparkle right in the middle of her, uh, right in the middle of her tooth. So I really much, wonder, Archie, Archie how I much guess. would uh, someone have to super chat for you to get a facial tattoo, Archie? Good one, Doc. Hey, Doc, how hard does diamond rank compared to penis on the most on the most hardness scale? Good point. Um, I got to be honest with you. I would need about to get a tattoo because I'm really scared of needles. To well, get a tattoo, okay. close your eyes. To get a tattoo, I would want 
I'd won five grand to get a tattoo. Face tattoo? Oh, okay. We could face raise tattoo. that. No, no face no. tattoo. Face tattoo, five thousand dollars. Archie will no, have no. Squally tattooed across his forehead for five thousand dollars. I don't super think cheap. I would ever get a face tattoo for less than a hundred and fifty thousand. I know that's not good value, but that's the honest truth. Uh, the people who love you the most are here tonight. Where? Where? Where are they? Also, where are these? Also, also appearing are Dr. Bruce Vingtonier, <laughs> Mark <Paul laughs> himself. <laughs> I was going to say, Paul, you're in trouble tonight. <laughs> I got to tell you guys the truth there. I'm flying, I mean, to, I'm flying to Melbourne next weekend. I've got a very, very um, – it's a, two things I got to do. Number one, I got to deliver that Pepsi sub. So Pepsi GMT, I got to deliver that. And the other thing is I've got a, another fan who wants me to – Look at his, he's bought a white gold Daytona with a Zenith movement. So white gold on a leather strap with a white gold buckle. White will, dial. Will you see Suckerhorn because he's in Melbourne? Yeah, I, I'm hoping to catch up with him. But because I've been bought by a client, I've got to do what the client wants. You understand that? Cool. They didn't pay for me to fly me down and I do what the fuck I want. They want to rent my yeah. services out you know what i'm you're saying like, you're like a little well, you're, sex slave. you're like a little sex slave you have to do you have to do what you're told exactly exactly but, which is okay because it's pretty cool we're going to look at watches i'm going to look at watches next week in melbourne melbourne australia well, maybe so if the client say, says i want you to get squally tattooed across your forehead you have to do it is what you're saying right no that's that's extra it's extra. okay someone, now clive so what we're going to do is next week we're going to try next week. We're going to have the Paul Pluter channel live with Clivers. I will send you the links, Clive, without me doing it. How's that for an idea? <laughs> We're going to keep all the super chat money. <laughs> we love yeah, Clive. Clive. You can... we, we love Clive. Go, Clive. Clive, is, Clive is. No, he's there. He's here. He's there. He's, he hasn't stopped smoking. I want to put a little thing, Clive. So look, let's let's just back the truck up. <laughs> someone's, play, someone's playing look, with let's, the... let's just back the truck up. Cut! Huh? Fucking stingy cunts! See, we don't need you, Paul. We don't need you at all. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. So, yeah, Clive will be doing it next week, okay? We're going to get a... I want an Archie to Luxury sock puppet with the soundboard. You don't even have to appear. We're going to do, a, gonna do a puppet, an Archie puppet. Exactly. So Clive can take care of that, can't you, Clive? We're going to install two little light bulbs on either side of its head. Yeah, it'd really be like a horn puppet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And every time yeah. It, and It's kind of like the Letterman show when Dave's not there, you know? It's always better. All right. So we, I guess we're going to start wrapping it up. It sounds like we're in wrapping it up phase, or are we going to keep going? Hey, we can do anything you want. You're the hostess. You're the hey, host with the you have, to plan a, hostess. you have to plan a $99 dinner. Hey, Clive, now that we've got you on air now and you're in a bit of a foul mood, <laughs> I wanted to ask you, what do you, how do you deal with the jealousy from all these watch forums that you've posted your Amiga? Clive has had a lot of nasty things being said to him. He's also had a Chinese businessman offer him twenty thousand U.S. dollars for no, his no, own. No, 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 no. That's speculative. That's speculative. Let's just back the truck up. Up to also, twenty thousand. Well, no. The low ball. Okay, How do you no, deal actually, with jealousy? Yeah. How do you deal with jealousy out there? I ignore it. Anyway, but actually, there's a friend of mine, actually a friend that everyone here knows. I'm not going to say who it is because I don't want to jinx it. He might be taking the coveted uh, 2008 Speedmaster You Suck award away from me pretty quick. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll keep you guys informed on how it is, how it goes. What's he this, getting? This guy. I'm not going to I'm not going to say I don't want to jinx it, but good luck. Okay. Good luck. You know who you are? Good luck, buddy. So, Clive, tell me this. Would you take 20000 Clive's got this dilemma. If he was offered $20,000 for his Speedmaster, no. 
Would no, you no, sell no. it? Well, well, if you were offered, let's just talk hypothetically. If you were offered 20K, what would you say? I say sell the fucking thing and buy a decent watch. What do you think? Dark, do Gene, Mark, I, I, I think you? I think I think he's not as in love with it as I was in love with mine. So I see no reason why not to sell it. I think he loves it, but I think Filthy Lucre would win the day. Ooh. I think sell it, but wait a year. Or two, 50th anniversary, see what happens. You'll the price can go up from it's pretty. It's pretty and it's it's it was stolen from the widows and orphans, which makes it even Did more. Did you juicy. win those papers you were bidding on, Clive? The papers. Uh, actually, actually someone's in the process of obtaining them for me, so so pretty soon, box papers and arm. I'm working on the arm form. <laughs> Well, <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully. How, long, how long can an arm be completely free of blood supply and still be reattached? How long you got? You got about you got about five minutes. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Doctor Pontiff. So I'm saying that arm is going to get kind. Of, we're going to need to light incense to be anywhere near that arm. I've I've got one in the back garden, by the way. That girl who did those reviews. Did you know? Well, go that, go that get it like, quick before the concrete sets. Did you know that when an arm is severed from a human body, the fingernails continue to grow? Yeah, yeah. Did you know that when someone is whacked, like in the mafia, like Soprano style? You just saw that on Soprano. You saw that on the Doc, can yes, you qualify I that? I, I do know that. And they can also catch on the bracelet when you remove the watch. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, Doc, is that true? Hair? And nails still keep growing? For a short time. And the term whack means something else here in the United States. Well, I've told him this repeatedly. Okay. <laughs> we call it a hit. We call it like a hit. It keeps growing for about a week? How long for? <laughs> I think longer. I don't remember how long it continues to grow, but it's not that long. I mean, it, it, you know. It basically Sorry. goes along with the okay. previous question about how long Super we have chat. to recapture. Super. Super chat, five dollars by your favorite new person, Mad Max eight eighty eight. Pontiff, Caltra Patek Caltrava fifty one ninety six G, white gold for sixteen point five K. Box and papers. Is this a good price? I've seen it for thirteen. I don't think it's a great price. It depends on how newish it is there. I don't think it's that fantastic. What do you think, Zin? You know about these. You you were lusting after one, Zin. Yeah. I, I, yep. I don't think it's a great price, but I think if it's depending on where it's from, if it's from a dealer, that's a fair price. If it's from private sale, I would say you can do better than that. Try to get 15 or less. Looks like Captain Zed sent a super chat idea. Did we lose. Uh, where is he? Oh, there's Clivey. Clivey, Captain Zed. Clivey, yes, yeah, have a look. Yeah, as usual, I'm ahead of you guys. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, the the 1521 professional reliable Swiss technology classic 1545 diver. I'd rather have a that Seiko where the hands aren't 100. likely to fall off and rattle around in there. 100. 300 meter Swale automatic diver. Okay, so Matic collection. Okay, we looked at we're looking at the new pieces, but honestly, said it's a two dollar super chat. And this is almost this is almost an eighth amendment violation. Time. I think you've used up your time. <laughs> well, let's see. Do, any, do we want to see if a certain has his watch on here or not? Yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's his website. We can. Squale. Uh, sold out. Squale. Wow. Squale. That's, that's pretty good yeah. for a limited 10,000 10, watches and it, it sold out. That's pretty good. There we go. There's your next watch, Paul, right here. Here is your next watch. Squale. Squale. Um, well, he, you are working your way. It's such a ripoff of the Submariner, isn't it? I mean, it, and it's the Smiley edition too, so that that, that mm. makes it collectible. It needs a pencil thin mustache and greasy hair, slicked back, and a punctured lung. 
It's quite late. <laughs> <laughs> I think we lost. Quite late. We lost Vinny. Where's Vin gone? He's cool. Vinny has fallen into a vat of cream of some young guy. He's having a hard yeah. time there in Mississippi, I think. Squire Lay Tiger, limited edition, anyway. No, it's not even a limited edition. It doesn't tell you how much. Oh, should I add to cart? Wait. Strap, um, mesh bracelet. Let's see. And he's back. Yeah. Oh, it's out of stock. Squire Lay. Squire Lay. Like herpes, you always come back. <laughs> Squire Lay. All right, so you've got your new box worth, guys. Okay, guys, so we're, we're going to do a live show tomorrow. Who's coming tomorrow? I'll try. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. So, so very quickly, would would you take 20000 if that was your 321? My honest answer is I think I, I couldn't resist the money. I would go and buy some... I like newish stuff, but that's because vintage isn't my genre. I've always done stupid things. Uh, I would have to say I would probably sell it and get something super cool. You could get so many cool things for 20. You could get a Lang A1, Clive. But I don't think that floats his boat. It doesn't float his boat. It's not something he's craving for. He, he loves like vintage. He likes what do you think? Doc, 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 would you get rid of it if you were him? Well, if I were him, I'd keep it for sure. Um, but I quite honestly see Clive as he gets just as happy with some of the other vintage pieces that are more like a thousand dollars. So, like your, like your Gloria, for instance. God damn, I love that watch. No, you can't have it. You sold it to me. No. <laughs> have but, you now got the uh, the? Uh, yeah. The the purple sub. How is purple yeah, sub going? Live streaming. Um, Don't worry, about it hasn't taking phone calls during live streams all the time, so it's no big fuck deal. <laughs> it's no big deal. That's right. How is the purple sub, Doc? It, it, it hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, I could tell. No, he it. still has the. He still has okay. the horns. Okay. Maybe okay. everybody should call the phone at the same time. Uh, yeah. No, basically, he says, uh, he says he went to a doctor. I think it's totally bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> we we're in discussion, Clive and I. Uh, no, I will show you the fucking medical bill. I will show you the fucking no. clinic bill. The bastards fucking charged me eighty dollars to fucking get get this fucking evaluation from. A no, the doctor wasn't a lady doctor. boy. No. He sounded well, he like, sounded I, I in the discussion that. like he Could might have something. been a general practitioner. He is. Well, what the. He's not going oh. to know. He's so, yeah. I can. I have to go to a GP to get a referral to a specialist. You've got to get a referral oh. in my country. Are you sure well, you didn't go to chiropractor? You might just go to a specialist. Do you understand that in my you country want, you, you have to get a referral job. letter? But if you yeah, if you're getting if you're getting yeah, surgical yeah. if you're getting surgical advice from a family yeah. practitioner, it's almost like you're getting advice pulled from. Yeah, but you need a referral to see the specialist. I'm going in to see the specialist, okay? Well, but what I'm saying is I wouldn't trust that there's an actual blood supply the way he's describing because it's not a specialty. And everything else he talked about doesn't really make a lot of sense, in term, including the, your weight. I mean, it makes sense, but not for the horn removal. Okay. I mean, it's a valid point, but not in terms of horn removal. So you need at least yeah, a I, surgeon, if not a plastic surgeon. Or a veterinarian. <laughs> I would recommend that route as well. Preferably from a state that has a podiatrist. A podiatrist would know more about the surgical aspects of that. Mm -hmm. For all, Maybe the, you need for all, for all the people asking about... For all the people asking about Don Haynes, he has uh, gone to Sweden on a small vacation and is coming back as a woman. That's all I know. Oh yeah, actually, Don is totally crushing on. He's in love with the Cartier, the new Cartier Santos. The oh the fuck! <laughs> 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 
Well, seriously, he's, 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 having, he's, he's having gender he's reassignment. dollars and he thinks we're pretty good. You no, know, no, wait, you guys were talking. We get we get his blood pressure up enough. The horns might explode. So work with you guys. Work with me. Don't work and, with me. And your isn't that Scott Haynes is having gender reassignment surgery, and that's why he likes the card. Yet. If that's he's transitioning, way. there's nothing wrong with that. It's the sensitive way we're going to look at it. Have Are you ever moody? Is is that a defense? You can you if you're transitioning, can you use that as a legal defense for being so moody? Uh, you know, uh, I'm not the right one to answer that question, uh, but uh, well, I don't you know, know what... interestingly, it does involve being bombarded with hormones that you're not used to seeing, especially if you're transitioning man to woman, suddenly you're getting bombarded with a lot of hormones that don't belong there. I think you could. Pitocin is your friend. Oxytocin makes you fall in love. Estrogen gives you boobies. What about Don't oxycodone? I, That's what you Americans love, isn't it? Oxycodone. Yeah, That's no, what we love. Aren't, aren't they banning that? That we call it hillbilly, hillbilly heroin. Heroin, yes. Yeah. So. Gentlemen, okay, I must guys. Have... Let's cut this one here. We'll be back on tomorrow. Please, guys, uh, come back. Yeah. Come back. Come back. And um, yeah, it's all good, guys.